Hi, my name is Marcus, and in this video I'll show you how to use the bottom split layout. So let's create a new project for this. Go into the directory and run Polymer in it. If you don't have Polymer CLI installed, uh, please do so. I'll put a link in the show notes. We'll use the application starter, go with the defaults, and let this install all the dependencies. With the dependencies installed, we can go ahead and install one split layout. And make sure that we get the version one or newer. All right, so with all of our dependencies installed, we can go ahead and open up our project. And we'll go into the only HTML file that we have in here. First thing we're gonna do is just um, import the split layout and with that in, in place we can go ahead and start using it so here i'll just have one split layout with two divs inside of it as content give me some class names so that we can style them later on Okay, so with those in place, let's go ahead and run this. We're going to do that by running Polymer Serve and pass the O parameter to open up a browser. Okay, so that works, um, but it doesn't really look the way we want it to look. So let's go ahead and add some styling. Go ahead and give our split layout a class name. Main. And then give it a size. And we can just make this full size. Like that. Run this, make sure everything works. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to do is go and uh, make the content blocks a little nicer. So we'll give them a background color and uh, center the text. Give it a light gray background color. Uh, make them flex boxes so we can center stuff easily. Just center everything. Like so, run this, make sure everything works. Okay, so um, the nice thing with one split layout is that you can nest these uh, arbitrarily to make more and more complex layouts. So we can go ahead and change the second div we have here into another bottom split layout and move the second content div inside of it. Also gonna create a new content div just to uh, have some content there, like that. And now we have a three-way split panel. Uh, what I wanna do is have the second split panel be a vertical one, and that's very easy to accomplish by just giving it the vertical attribute, like that. Okay, uh, another thing that you're probably going to want to do is define some sort of uh, default or min and max widths or heights for your split position. So you can do that with just CSS. So for the first component here, we're going to give it a min and max width. That way uh, the user can only select values between those two. So let's give a min width of 100 pixels and max width of say 300 pixels. If we run this, you can see that we can now only select values between those two. Uh, here in the other split panel, uh, what, what I'm gonna do is just give 25% to the first uh, component and 75% to the other component. Right, twenty five percent. Give this a height of seventy five percent. Run this, and you can see that the heights uh, work. Uh, the heights that you specify will only be the f initial values, and people are able to then uh, resize the layouts as they need. The final thing that we're going to take a look at is customizing the actual splitter, how they look. 
and that again is something that you can do with uh, CSS. So here we need to define a uh, little custom mixin. And in here we can then define things. So for instance, let's change the uh, actual handle color to, let's say, uh, pink. And we can also give it a background color of, let's say, green. Let's run that. And you can see that that actually changed it. And there you have it. That's how you use button split layout.